Okay, welcome back to this second part of this five part tutorial. In the first part, I showed you how I did the sketch for my artwork that I call Teddy Bear Cemetery. Now, for this part of the tutorial, I will show you how I did the line art. Although I did this particular artwork in uh, Sketchbook uh, Pro, uh, it is possible to um, do it on a decent piece of um, paper for art, uh, different kinds of pencils and uh, rubber, and also uh, by the use of different kinds of um, brushes and um, paint. You can also use another kind of software like uh, Photoshop, um, whatever you're comfortable with. Anyway, let's get tutorialized.
Okay, let's take a break for a moment. As you can see, I'm trying to keep my lines as loose as possible for the sake of not ruin the flow and the fluidness in the artwork. It's like trying to create a sketch with your line art tool uh, using your original sketch as a reference, but at the same time trying to make it as clean as possible. A simple rule that I have come up with uh, during my years as an artist is don't let your line art kill the sketch. What it means is that you should only try to clean up your sketch with your line art and not straighten the lines too much thus it will kill uh, the life and the flow in your artwork. I think I might uh, do a tutorial on this subject uh, later on. Now, let me just finish up the line art and uh, get prepared for the fields and the shadow.
Now that's what I call a line arch. As I mentioned in part one of this tutorial, it's perfectly okay to change and add some elements to your layouts while you're working on uh, your artwork. And this applies uh, while doing your line art as well as with the sketch. Uh, just like uh, I just did uh, with the trees in the background to the right. Now we're ready for the next step which is about fills and shadow. So stay tuned for part 3 of this tutorial. So I will see you sooner than later. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Please visit my Facebook page for updates on my tutorials and other videos by clicking the link in the description below. Although my Facebook page is in Norwegian, please feel free to leave a comment or a question and I will reply you as soon as possible in English. Also, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family.